Oh, dang it. I forgot to rename this. So it's the Super Bowl Schmooper Bowl again. I hope I don't confuse anybody. All right. Hey, Tojo, Chad. Let me pop out the chat here so I can see everything. Glock, Emblin, Angry D, Sean, Mike, Ben, what's up? Dub Glock, hey, and Bruce, Jake, Lawrence, Dave, welcome, Jerry, welcome, Eddie, welcome, Eugene. Did I say hi to Eugene? Nope, that was another E. Welcome, Eugene, Wandering Bear, yo. Let my people go. When Cameron was in Egypt land, let my... Okay, just got my closets. That's awesome. That's a good one. Vincent, welcome. Hey, Ed Medina. Welcome. Strafe, there's no telling. There's no telling what's going on with the Bear Grylls conversation tonight. Peter Hartman, welcome. Chad K, welcome. Chad... Kenneth Czar, welcome. I think there's another Chad K. I'm going to have to differentiate between you two. Emlyn. Did I say hi to Emlyn? I did. That's okay. Welcome again. Dun, dun, dun. Northeast Pennsylvania Gun Talk, welcome. Rich, welcome. Good afternoon. A new screen name. Oh, no, that's okay. I can differentiate. It's a, there's a Chad. Yeah, Chad Cobra. So we'll have to call him, uh, the, I don't know what to call him. Let me see here. All right, where'd my screen go? There it is. All right, now I can see what you're looking at, which is this. Oh, well, holy heck, I need to fix my camera. Everything's all goofy and messed up. I should have looked at that first. Why can't? Why can't this be right? Let me situate that so it all looks slightly uneven. Fantastic. All right, there we go. Now nah, it's better. A second ago, everything was covering this thing, so I had to get everything off of here before I start talking. Always last minute. I got a, the next state of the collection video is just one button push away from being viewed by the public so as soon as you're done with this go check that out chad one okay chad cober i think was two and chad kenneth czar will be three so chad three chad one chad two the kubi flick <laughs> oh not good <laughs> i'm telling you i'm an expert at this when y'all ain't watching okay that's how it happens all the time first try right there Okay, Savivi Statera. Hey, 49 Giants, welcome. It is a wood scaled Kubi. They have a, a bunch of these smaller pocket chunker Kubis. These things are pretty cool though. A little D2 knives. Stick a lanyard on there. They're really. Ah, so satisfying. Only one Peter. I'm afraid this needs to be a Thunderdome situation. <laughs> Hey, John, welcome. Too many Chads. They're going to unionize. A union of Chads. All right. Let's see. Am I missing anybody? Dun, dun, dun. Steve. Welcome, Steve. Hey, Thomas. Good to see you. All right. Let's see what else we got. I don't got a lot to look at. I think somebody sent in a box, which I should have had ready already. But I've been busy doing stuff. All right, that's not that box. That's a box of empty wrappers and f destroyed hopes and dreams. All right, so they sent in. Where I see this box? Did I show you that box already? Did I show you guys the box with the Spartan in it? Somebody sent in a Spartan. Did I show you that, guys? I'm waiting. Was that Sunday that I showed you guys the Spartan box? Because if not, this is an awesome box to look at. You're not going to believe it. Dun, dun, dun. Why would you pick up daughter from ballet? I told her I'm on the live stream. <laughs> I 
the mad chads. All right. Okay. Well, that's where we'll start then. A guy who lost a bet. He told me he lost a bet with his buddy over the AFC Championship game. And so, if he won, then he was supposed to. The other guy was supposed to send a knives. Anyways, he lost, and so he just sent in an insane amount of awesome knives. So we're gonna get into this. This is all for piff or piffle or just I don't even know where to start. I'm gonna start with this one. I don't even know what's in here. Look at this. All right, so he sent in a Tuya. And then somebody else already sent in one of these too. So I think we have two of these waiting in the piff area. So he sent in a Tuya. Let's see what else he sent in. Holy heck. All right, let's reach in there and grab this one. Oh, wait a minute. No, he didn't send in that to you. He sent in this to you. That was a different to you. I just put them together. I was hoping they'd have to you babies. All right, so here we go. So I sent in this one. Maybe you can send in that one. No, I think he sent in this one. Yeah, this is the one he sent in. Very, very similar. There we go. Check that out. I don't know which to you this is. The to you... T1610. Y'all know what the name of this is, right? This is. I don't know what the names of the two years are. But it's an awesome knife. Look at this thing. Very nice. T2, G10. Hut, hut, height. Great knife. Great blade. All right, let's keep going. I gotta catch up. I have a hummingbird on the way from Mass Drop. Nice. I have bought something from Mass Drop. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know an Opinel. Is that something that needs to be in my collection? If so, it's like get the huge one, the one that's like a a pepper pepper grinder. That's the one you need. I bought several masks. Can you get a piff more than once? Yeah, you can. If you're on the piff list, when that piff list is done, then yeah, you can be on the piff list again. I don't know if I'm any number six and number eight. Opinels are great. Yeah, Opinels are cool. Very slicing. The Bruiser. Okay, so this is the two-year Bruiser. Add six, seven, eight. All right, I, I used to know the numbers on the Opinels a little bit. I think I have an eight and a six. And then I have a couple that were modified as presents for me, which are pretty cool. All right, check this out. I might keep this one. Oh yeah, Cold Steel Steve Austin. Check that out. This thing's really cool. The Steve Austin Working Man. Very cool, very bionicle. I like that color. I think I like the orange better and I like my yellow one. That's great, it'll go nicely with my Ultimate Hunter and my SE5 with the orange scales and the lime green blade. All right, so there you go. This is all from one box now. Same guy sent this in. He didn't want me to tell y'all who it was so y'all don't get to know, but just know that he's lurking, watching, ready to pounce. This is, look at this. Oh my gosh. I've never held one of these before. This is the Kala A1 Black G10. Check that out. That is nice. You ever had one of these in your hand? Holy heck, look at that. That is awesome. That's a nice blade. What is that? What's the steel on that? Do we know? It's probably on there somewhere. VG10, wow. That is awesome. I don't know, some of these may have to go into a piffle. These are pretty nice for just straight up piff. What do you think? Should we piff them or piffle them? I think we're gonna piffle some of these to get some shipping money. But we'll see. Maybe we'll throw out a couple of these in the piff boxes and just destroy somebody's mind. Mind blown. All right, let's keep going. There's a couple more awesome knives here. All right, this is, oh, the Intrepid. Look at this. Oh, I don't think I've held one of these either. Not that I remember. Kaiser Intrepid. Check that out. 
dang. Oh, dang. That thing's awesome. That thing just snapped open. Watch this. Check that bad boy out. Oh, man, it seems brand new. It's not like he got these, used them for a while. That one smells like dude cologne. It smells like my dad. My dad's cologne. I'm going to keep this and keep it around to sniff. <laughs> Crazy knife sniffer. This is awesome. Look at this Intrepid. G10. B VG10 steel. That's awesome. All right, let's see. Let me see here. Dun, dun, dun. All knives are going to be black and gray. This looks crazy. I'm just to catch up here on the thing. I got the blue Oppenel. <clears throat> I got a blue Oppenel. Yes. You gave me a blue Oppenel. It's in my special bag of to be buried with me. BG10. Pink Piffle. Number green. That bad girl. Everyone mail Josh a sock. <laughs> My Kaiser Big Lighter smelled like that too. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, it's pretty. I mean, really, it smells like. So, like those testers in the, in the GQ magazine. That may be the new selling point for Kaisers. They smell like your dad's cologne. Good stuff. That is awesome. Very cool. I'll stop stiffing knives or sniffing knives here, so as not to creep out the folks in the audience. <clears throat> oh, and leather. Oh, holy heck, don't get me started on the leather. I'm going to open my drawer right now just because you said something, John. Oh, look at this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to light my candle. I have a candle that smells like leather. I'm going to light the brown leather flame candle. Okay, now here is my favorite knife that he sent in. Which I already told you was coming. But this is a Spartan. Look at that. Holy heck, look at that. He's sitting in a Spartan. What was he thinking? He wasn't. Oh, BD1 Spartan. Check that out. That is awesome. Yeah, Chad's huffing on that thing. His is awesome too. Did you see that? With the marine conch on there that's awesome look at this he's sitting in a spartan he's sitting in all these knives i can't tell you who it is or i tell you to say thank you but thank you i'm not even gonna say if he's in the ch chat because i don't want he wants total anonymity he wants like elvis when he disappeared in 77 he didn't want anybody to know where he was so there you go he's sitting in all this stuff in one box and this is actually his second awesome box before he sent in and just some really cool stuff that he's doing for us so we'll see i might send in some of these for piff and then piffle some to get some shipping going but either way he's really contributed big time getting everybody some a little bit of happiness sent their way so that's awesome all right da -da 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 -da. Dad's clone smelled like Chivas Regal. <laughs> hey, sadistically sharp, welcome. Dun, dun, dun. Thank you, Mr. Anonymous. Yeah, that's right. Very, very generous. All right, so, do y'all have anything coming in this week? Before I show you what I got in, you know, I got one thing in all the way from Hong Kong. It took six or seven weeks to get here, and I meant to show you guys, but I shipped it out. I don't think he's in here. I can't tell you. Well, he's not going to know what it is. I shipped it out to a buddy for his birthday. And so I didn't get a chance to show you. So it was really cool. I think I have a picture of it. Y'all want to see a picture of it? I could post a picture of it. Let me see here. Oh, somebody sent me a text. Don't look at the text. Right, one word answer on the text. No, I gotta find the picture. Hold on. I'm looking for the picture of this knife. And I was gonna show you guys that I got it. Ooh, not that picture. That's a crazy picture. Alright. 
So it came all the way in, and not the T1, but that one on the bottom there. Can you see that? No, you can't. No, you can't. All right, anyways, it's blue. It's got M390 on it, and it's just a little pocket chunker flipper. It's pretty cool. So I got that in after like six or seven weeks. I meant to show everybody, but I didn't. I got a long list of things I had to do. I had to everybody that I owe something to has been sent out stuff I don't think I owe anybody anything else except for the international Pithmas people I still have to get that out I know I'm way behind on that but besides those folks everybody else noobers stickers giveaways I'm all caught up so there you go All right, there you go. Let me check, catch up here. Save your line. A little new here. With the piffle. Oh, Piffle is, yeah, they already said what it is, but I'll just go over it. It's a raffle to raise money for Piff. Bench made liner lock. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, the one that kind of looks like the T1. I wanted to try it. Oh, the T1. If y'all don't have a T1, you should get one, definitely. I'm gonna anodize this one tonight. It's gonna be awesome. T1's anodized great, by the way. Check that out, very awesome. Very cool. Yeah, the, there's a, is that the one, the, what's it called, the monolock or something like that from Benchmade? <clears throat> hey, the real MJ's here, fantastic. Hey, Norma, welcome. Speaking of two sons, which one of you jackals turned me on to two sons eBay paints when I've been drinking? Oh, yeah. I know who it was. It was uh, the one guy. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you his name, but it, he was just talking about Thunderdome a second ago. Scroll up. It's him. He's the one that's turned you on to the eBay two son page. I'm pretty sure. 8010 and 8015 at Cold Steel. Panther 405. What's Panther 405? Dun 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 dun. An eye recovery. Yes, we're moving. Holy heck. That's your new job? That's really technical that's something else congratulations we don't need another hero <laughs> Marshall Marshall dropping some time bombs on us this here sniffing my bench mate does it smell like your dad's cologne does it smell like a Kaiser Order my first bottle of KPL. Cool. I hear that stuff is really good. That's awesome. Congratulations, Sedishly Sharp. Definitely. That's a really, really important job you have. That's so helpful and really cool. All right, let's see. How are you anodizing power supply? I have a 120 watt, 120 gigawatt, you know what I'm talking about, the little plug-in thing with the dial and the, and the buttons, that's the one I'm using. <clears throat> Sissy, congrats for me and these really sharp knives. That is just, yeah, this is crazy intricate, the things you're doing there, sadistically sharp. That's wild. I'll tell my wife about this, she'll, she'll really think that's cool. Yeah, what Peter said. That one. 1.21 gigawatts. <laughs> Great Scott! Yeah, that's the one. That one's a square box with a dial on it. What's my... Hey, Jake, what's my favorite knife? Your favorite knife of all time for right now, the one I have in my collection, is probably my Demco AD12. Just because there are not very many of those out there. I think there's... 
five or six AD twelves. Only surgical though, not bar crochet. <laughs> That's still, man, that's awesome. That's such a cool thing you're doing. Just an amazing job with a lot of pressure. And just, that's great. To throw the knife 80 mile. The flex capacitor. It's on the back. If you stick your tongue in the, there, it sends you back in time. <laughs> <laughs> if you put your finger in the bowl and plug it in at the back, you go back in time. Is gravity stronger in the future? I don't know. <clears throat> Just for battery charger anodizing. Wow. That's technical. I don't even know how to do that. That's cool though. I still can't understand why I was picked last in gym class. Yeah. I was picked pretty close to last for a long time. It's because I had a humongous noggin and tiny shoulders. Looked like a Pez dispenser for a, for a while. Until <laughs> I kind of grew into it a little bit. Hey, hey, Bill, welcome. This is your only first day for bench mates. Now let's go. Rick, 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 Rick. And they're all Uber drivers. Anyone else think pretty dirty? What was dirty? Did I miss something that sounded dirty? All right, let's see. All right, let's see what I got in today. This came today. I ordered it a while back during the Christmas sale. Oh, check that out. The holdout. Look at that. Have you ever had one of these? I think this is the first big one I've had. I've held the, the holdout too, but man, this thing's awesome. This thing wants to be snaggled really badly. I'm about to get me another snaggle for this. Look at that thing. Just awesome. Look how many inches this thing is from tip to butt here. 13 inches of knife here. Look at that. Holy cow. That's so cool. It is so cool. Now I think I have one of each of the the monster cold steels. And this thing is right up there with them. Just extra stabby. I gotta figure out something awesome to do with this thing here. <clears throat> How big is it closed? Let me see. Let's see. It is just over seven inches close. Seven and a quarter maybe seven and a quarter so the blade is on this thing is right at six inches it's like 5.8 inches of blade on this thing just awesome this thing is so cool oh oh described the power supply oh i didn't mean to be dirty on that i was just I was trying to be funny because I'm always paranoid and I'm doing that stuff. I'm like, am I supposed to do this first? Do I touch that? Do I hit that button? Is this going to make my hair stand on end? Do I have enough hair to stand on end? All these questions are running through my mind while I'm anodizing. Let's see the 27 knives. Any knives in particular you should buy? Yes, all of them. What's your, what's your budget, Jake? We'll definitely give you some excellent, excellent ideas. Great car <laughs> nor neighbor. Yeah, you know, whichever one's, whichever one's mocking you the most, the turkey or your neighbor, one of them. It can't open up other box knives. This feels like feral hog sticker to me there, sir. I think you need to take this out for a test run. <laughs> Yeah, no, it is definitely something to, I mean, I think it would work as a, as a kitchen kind of a camp kitchen slicer type knife. I'm going to try it out on some brisket or something. This is really cool. And unlike the two, it is a lot easier to snap open. Man, the, the holdout two is one of the hardest things to get open, especially if you got weak thumb calluses. A hundred bucks. For a hundred dollars, 
get you a American lawman. Thank you. Good night. We all you gonna have a custom blur with silver tool car. Hey, Marshall's got a good idea there. He's doing some excellent things with those blurs for sure. Another brisket again. Yeah, there's some brisket going out. I think I got on sale, but it's not on sale anymore. I want to say that I paid 85 for this, but I think they're back up into the 120 range or something like that. I don't have enough hair to shock off. See, I'm good there. They won't find me with my hair stand on my end, on its end. So that'd be good. <clears throat> Or grip, that's a good one for a hundred bucks. Grip's an awesome knife. The freak is great. The bug out, yeah, like Rich said, that's a cool knife. Just super light. The bug out is super light. Very awesome. Hey Chug Dude, welcome. Welcome, Chug Dude. Alright. So this one's XHP. I think they still have them out there. They're still out there. I don't know if they're discontinuing these in XHP. Well, I mean, I'm sure they are, but I don't know if they're discontinuing the whole knife series. Because I couldn't find any of them in S35VN. And I know they're putting some of the bigger blades. I think the Espadas are actually going to 10A, OS 10A, if I'm not mistaken. So I might be wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure that's what I saw. If y'all know it different, let me know. <clears throat> Hey, Patrick, how are you doing? Welcome. The Artisan Eagle. I don't know what the Artisan Eagle is. Let me see. Whoop. I have an Artisan here. It is not the Eagle. This is the Artisan. Let's see what this is. Lots of zipping, lots of undoing. What is this? This is the Artisan Huggy Bear. Look at this thing. Oh, man. That thing just screams pimp knife. That carbon fiber copper. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I need like a bass run behind this. Let me give me a little bass run. Yeah. I'm gonna play that funky music white boy with this thing. This thing's awesome. <laughs> that thing's so cool. I still have to do something with this. Birdshot sent this to me and I still haven't done anything with it. It's maybe subliminally, subliminally, I don't want to get rid of it. We're gonna figure out something. See what they say about how I can do that. All right. So yeah, that's pretty cool. When does this piff end? Piff ends as soon as I run out of I run out of piff. So I think there's 50 people and I think I've sent out 12 boxes. So we're 38 in. So I'm thinking maybe April this piff win if in the, the way it's going right now. But hopefully it'll get quicker. Maybe when you're a chet, <laughs> that's what it does. <laughs> it snaps its fingers at you. You're a chet all the way from your first cigarette to your that's dying day when you're a jet. Um, so I'm thinking once I get stop being busy and I'm able to get some stuff out, I'm thinking maybe the end of March. We'll do another another drawing. Yeah, you know, slasher, that's right. So we'll probably do another sign up first of April, something like that. It's looking like that. Let me see here. Dun, dun, dun. The Eagle. What is the Artisan Eagle? Which Artisan is that? Did we figure it out? I should probably know. Kershaw Knockout M390. That's a good $100 knife for sure. Hey, Nicole, welcome. Marshall, getting in. Getting in the singing. Fantastic. Handle texture is nicer on that holdout. <clears throat> Blur for anniversary. The OD green one. Okay, that sounds good, Bill. Email me your address. I think I have your address, but email it to me anyways. Just so I don't forget. It helps me not forget. You know what helps me not forget? Seriously, last night I was just freaking out because I got a ton of things to do. And it just once my brain goes into that mode, and you have like 20 things to do, and it's just like shutting down. We will do none of them. 
because we can't organize our thoughts. So I wrote it down in my Doc Holiday field note. And seriously, I got all that stuff done. I got all the Nuber stuff sent out, all the Piffle stuff sent out, all the stickers and anodizing stuff that I was doing. All that stuff has been sent out. Oh, speaking of anodizing, I'm trying to take apart a Tucson and the pivot is spinning on me and I can't, I don't have anything to lock down the other side of that Tucson pivot. Have any of y'all taken it apart? I was supposed to do this for Buddy and I can't get the pivot to stop spinning. It's 30, you know, 30 minutes of anodizing at the most or whatever it takes, but the pivot won't stop. So if y'all got any ideas, let me know. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Texture's not as aggressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Push buttons are out illegal. Okay. Fat touch in the bad one like a moron. Alright, it's got the Fox Dreamcatcher 441 and it's off center. Oh man, that's disappointing. I don't know how Fox is customer services I've never ever done that I like the gaudiness of that silver that's pretty cool I might have to see if Marshall can do other knives can you do other knives Marshall I'm gonna send in a knife there's got to be some other knives that can have some filler in there there are always more got a real the Grip 550 and it's, oh wow, dang dude, that's a good day. It's a steel Sea Eagle, a Grip 550 and a CH3001. That's a good day. You can just come home, relax, have a nice tea, turn on the game, and flick away. Hey Sue, welcome. Welcome to our little group. I have a blur with G10. I don't. I don't have any blurs. They scare me. They scare me like that dude that operates the tilt a whirl at the carnival. Yeah, he's eyeballing you. And you know he's got an eye behind that patch. You're pretty sure because it's got a screen on it. And he has that on there so he looks at you when he's not looking. Yeah, that's what scares me like the blur. I'm pretty sure it's dangerous and it's going to cut somebody. Just like that dude. <laughs> He put a small in the slot still. They have the three slots. Yeah, that's what it is, the three slots. It's not my knife. I just, I, I think I could try to hold it, but I just, yeah, I fear the blur. I, I'm scared to screw up the knife and scratch it up. That's the whole thing. I didn't know if they had a special tool or anything. <clears throat> oh, wouldn't that be cool, Mel? That would be really cool. I might, I would buy another one just to do, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get another one and send it to Marshall and have him soup it up for me. Oh, that would be cool. Wobble free and centered. You know, a lot of people have had Benchmade issues and I haven't had any that I can think of Benchmade problems as far as centering. I've had some Spyderco problems and stuff like that, but I can't think of anything that Benchmade. But you know, I don't buy a lot of brand new Benchmade, so maybe that's it. Maybe I'm buying the best that people are going to sell out there in the secondary market. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, that's a good knife, T. Willie. The Iron Pup. I think I know which one you're talking about. Alright, let me see. What else do I got around here? Do I have anything coming in? I have a large fixed blade coming in that you'll see on Friday. It should be here tomorrow. I can't tell you about it, but it's awesome. And then I have another knife that a buddy just bought for me out of blue, which was awesome. So that's coming in on Friday, so you probably see that Friday night. All right. Let's see. I did a video on the bird blades iron puff. Now I gotta go check it out. Now I have to go look. I 
I did a video on that one? Huh. Ah, okay. <laughs> My brain is fried. I don't remember that video. Let's see here. Like a man with a large fixed blade. Well, you're gonna love me because I have several, several large ones. The Tree of Liberty one. I have that Carruthers behemoth field chopper. The Spidey Chef is awesome. That is definitely on a knife to get list. If you guys haven't checked out the Spidey Chef, it's awesome. It's just like they took the Techno, stretched it out, thinned it out. It's just really cool. I know, I think it's the same maker guy, if I'm not mistaken, but yeah, it's a cool knife. I love the lighting. Lightning comes tomorrow. Oh, the F-16. Great. That's awesome, Bruce. That's a good one. I have the 12-inch one, about 50 cent in our center. The rest are just a bit off. Hey, Garrett. Welcome. Glad you dropped by. Thank you. My buck and bear links is off center, too. I just stabbed a little to the right. Cool. Did you get the buck and bear when knife center just dropped the prices out the bottom on those? I didn't. I didn't get any of those, but there were some sweet deals over there for a while on those. Spidey Chef someday would be awesome. You need the Spidey Chef, Marshall. And if they come out with a Spidey Nurse, you need one of those too. You can have the duality of the duality of man. Spidey Chef, Spidey Nurse. Same designer. Okay, cool. Chad number three. Chad three, he wanted the Spidey Chef for Christmas. Don't have any large fixed blades, but I have a saw blade bat and a war hammer. Holy freak. That's all you need. <laughs> Holy heck. Where do you live? You live with the walking dead. Dad gum, a saw blade blade bat. That's pretty awesome. Just stab a little to the right. You gotta put a little Kentucky windage there when you're stabbing people. Okay, I'm aiming for his nipple, but I'm going right into the heart there. And it got dark in here. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, Lynn Thompson. That sounds like a Lynn Thompson thing. A saw blade bat. If he's listening, he's going to make the cold steel saw blade bat. That would be awesome. Doesn't everybody have a saw blade bat? They are now. I want one for sure. Now <laughs> I'll keep that by the front door. Yeah, there will be blood with a saw blade. Somebody's getting cut. It might be you if you swing back too far and all of a sudden you take out your lower lumbar. Honey, you remember when I had a lower lumbar? Those were the good old days. Did you find a Tucson knife? I did find the Tucson knife. Guess what? I sent it to that same buddy for his birthday. <laughs> I sure did. Dad, come on. I had two extra knives to show you guys. And I totally sent them off just today for birthday presents. So, Chad doesn't believe in violence. I don't believe that you don't believe in violence. Yeah, what Marshall said. Okay, I gotta get a drink here. A drink of the fuzzy stuff. Okay. Oh, the Gladius machete is awesome. That's a really... Yeah. Okay, let me see. So what uh, anybody else what else y'all got coming in? Like I said, I got that fixed blade and the other thing, and I got something else coming in, but I can't tell you until Doc gets here. I don't know if Doc's gonna show up. If Doc doesn't show up, then I can't tell you. That's just the way it is. That are that's the rules of this game. Have you seen the knife in Gun Reviewer Bay Baby Blue on the Town? She's hot. No, but Rick? You know what? I'm willing to uh, take a gander. Let's see. Baby blue on the town. She is not not attractive. Let me see. Yeah. How many subscribers does she have? 33K. Well, now I know the secret. 
I gotta get hotter. <laughs> I need a girl's bikini beach day, and all of a sudden, <laughs> I have five subscribers. <laughs> My subs go the other way. What's bikini beach day? All right, let me see. Violence solves everything. I'm gonna combat show it on. I already said that tonight, but you. Dio, I doc. Did I really? I'm sorry. You got. I didn't see it. I didn't. I didn't see that one. I didn't. And on Doc's comment, I didn't see the. I didn't understand what he was saying. And the man who keeps Mr. Ted in his pocket. Name that film. I don't know that film. Dad Gum. Man, can you please? Yeah, that's not something anybody wants to see. Doc is my admin. <laughs> All right, let's see here. First pink knife. Oh, okay. The pink dozier. Yeah. And those that are left will be blind. There you go. What John said. Blind and terminally ill from can't get rid of that thought syndrome. Uh oh. Let's see. Did I miss anything? Tony came in and made the mankini comment. I'm sorry, Tony. I didn't realize that was you. That was your first comment there. Welcome. Beyond Thunderdome. You know, I'm going to sit here and I'm probably going to get lambasted for that. I've never seen Beyond Thunderdome. I know the premise of the movie. I know some of the characters. I know there's that dude with the little dude on his shoulders. And I'm pretty sure Tina Turner's in it. But I've never seen the whole movie. Master Blaster, right? That's his name. I had a buddy that used to quote that guy all the time. And he had to tell me who he was. Yeah, I know, Marshall. Hey, you want to hear something else? I'm going to hear the crowd scream. I've never seen Platoon. <laughs> yeah. Never seen Platoon either. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I know, Eddie. I'm, a, I'm bad. I'll have to check out. Check them out for sure. Oh, I've watched Big Trouble in Little China. I need to watch it again. So, yeah, it's been a while since I've seen that. I, really, I don't know when the last time I saw that. It's been a while. Amazon Prime. At the moment. I'll check it out. Even I've seen Platoon. <laughs> I know. What's wrong with me? I don't know. <laughs> I've, missed, I've missed certain things. Well, that was during the time of my life when I wasn't allowed to go to the movies and and cinema was the devil. So, I have seen Full Metal Jacket. I did see that. Oh, yeah, the Holdout. Holdout's awesome. Who runs Barter Town? I have no idea who runs Barter Town. Two of the great movies. Cat looks warm. Best fixed plate under $25. Not a more. I got one of those. I don't know. That, that's a tough one. That's fixed plate under 25 bucks. That. Hey, get out of there. Get out of there, kitty. No, that's not your box. Get out of there, kitty. It's my pot pie. I haven't seen Creed 1. Was Creed 1 any good? Master Blaster runs Parter Town. <laughs> there you go. TC Don knows Marshall. He understands who runs Parter Town. It's because more is the answer. Parter Town is Matt Martin with vehement knives. Hold to four. Okay, four. Took my daughter to school yesterday and there was ice on one show. I'm in the Bay Area as well. Cold steel GI Tanto can be had for 25 bucks. That's a good knife. That, that's not a, yeah, what Chad, Chad one said. The original Chad. He, um, the cold steel GI Tanto is pretty awesome. 
I've ever seen Shaun of the Dead. I have seen Shaun of the Dead. Happy Trigger Time. I've seen a lot of movies, I'm, but I just hadn't seen those two. Especially Platoon got me in trouble. <clears throat> Shaun of the Dead is hilarious. Cat slash fever. Dun, dun, dun. I was going into Cat Slash Fever and I started doing Smoke on the Water. I should probably freshen up on my 70s rock there. You're hunting a red stag and deer hunter. Those aren't native to the Northeast. Deer Hunter. Now I have seen Deer Hunter. That's that's a messed up movie. I have seen Secondhand Lions. That's a great one. I haven't seen Sean Wick. That's fine. <laughs> All right, let's see here. I haven't seen Bird Box yet, no. Hold on, I'm gonna see if Doc is coming. If Doc's not coming, I'm gonna have to tell you guys the secret. Oh, I better not mess with him. He may be working. All right, I'll leave Doc alone. Dueling banjos. I don't. I don't think I can play dueling banjos. I may be able to play the intro. That's all I got. That's all I know from dueling banjos. <clears throat> you got it right, pretty mouth. Yeah, nobody wants to be Ned Beatty. Everybody thinks they're Burt Reynolds. It's not true. All right, let me get off of here. We're going to close this down a little bit early. I don't have as much stuff as I like to talk about. I did an earlier video. Like I said, once I get off of here, if you want a Jimmy Slash sticker, send me a self-addressed stamped envelope. I will send you a sticker straight back. You don't have to pay anything. I won't tell you which sticker you're going to get. I'm just going to stick a sticker in an envelope and send it your way. And if you want an extra sticker behind that, then send me two bucks and yourself a self-addressed stamped envelope. You all will know the secret by Friday. Hey, DC Mercury, thank you. Good night, sir. Thank you for showing up. I will watch Platoon. I got to get that going. San Francisco real cool. It's the Russian strip. No, I didn't see that. I need to check that out. But yeah, the GI Tanto is awesome. That was one of the first Cold Steel knives I bought. Okay, y'all have a great evening. Have a great rest of your week. We'll see Friday. Friday, we're going to do an Ubers and have some extra news and some cool stuff coming out on Friday but I appreciate y'all showing up for Wednesday and I'm sorry for the lack of lack of awesomeness tonight but Friday should make up for it I appreciate y'all coming out and I will talk to y'all later